Ready? Go. My name is Brett Van Horn. I'm also known as Leody. That stands for leave it or take it. This is my office. I have my studio out here on Treasure Island. As you can see, it's fucking awesome. Check this out. Living in San Francisco, how does one acquire stuff like this? All right, come on in here. I'm going to show you. This is an installation I did. I like to have fun. I like to do this pattern. I call it Cosmic Cheetah. And I do all sorts of different types of art. I like to work with fabrics. I make wallpaper. I like to paint mannequins. I like to work with all sorts of different materials. This is kind of like my boy girlfriend right here. I love this. This is the joy of art. I finish off my paintings, you know, I pour it on and get it right. And this is the final effect. Uh, I like to paint masks. I painted this mask. And so I painted the room turquoise and I'd like to paint the floor black. But for now, I do all my spray painting in here. It's kind of like my spray booth. And it's gonna look fucking rad. You wanna see me make some of it? All right, here's the deal. I don't have any money. I have to sell a painting today in order to survive, in order to pay my bills. That's what it's like. You give up your career, you give up everything to do the thing you love, to do fucking art. You know what I'm fucking saying? I gotta go out on the street and make fucking money. But guess what? We're gonna fucking do it and I'm gonna fucking show you what's up. The goal of making art for me is to be able to keep doing it and not have a regular nine to five job. I'm surviving in San Francisco and I eat really good food and I get to talk to really cool people and I get to paint every day. So I like the freedom to paint when I feel like painting. I like to paint, I like to paint every day. I try to paint every day and I try to sell art every day. I think selling the art and making the money keeps me professional and keeps my love for my own personal art down. So I don't, like, I'm not, I don't get attached to the, my own art. Um, this room is representative of just straight up pure fun and joy and I like to transfer the joy that I make creating the art to the people that view it. Leo, do you stands for leave it or take it? And that was made up by my friend. I wanted to call it take it or leave it, which would be Tioli, but he's like leave it or take it. So I was like, all right. And so I, w I used to be real insecure about, um, like I didn't even think I was an artist. And so I had to prove to myself that I was an artist. And so I would leave paintings out on the street and put this painting as, I would put a message on the back of the painting. I would put, this painting is meant for you. You can leave it or take it. And I left out 70 pieces in the last six years. But I stopped doing it when I turned professional. And I turned professional when I decided, I read a book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And it talks about turning pro. And when I read that book, I, it inspired me to quit my career, which was hanging wallpaper and uh, commercial painter in the painter's union here in SF to become uh, a pro artist. And being a pro artist, I think that's what made me pro was as I quit my career, made that decision. And this might not seem professional, but I've moved over 140 pieces in the last year since I quit my job last uh, two, April of 2017. If you want to manifest stuff, you have to learn how to breathe. And in order to learn how to breathe, you have to go see a shaman specialist. And I did that, so I'm going to turn you on to my little ancient Chinese secret. Secret? Okay. And so what you do is you take the gold light from the North Star in through the portal in your head, on the inhalation into your heart, and on the exhalation you push it through your body, through the portals in your feet to the center of the earth. And on the next I breath you take jacket. the... That, is, that jacket is so sick with you, you take the silver light from the center of the earth, in through the portals in your feet, through your body, into your heart, and on the exhalation you bring it through the portal in your head to the North Star. And you just keep doing that, and you just keep doing that. Once you breathe, you attach a feeling, like a memory that brings you great joy and happiness or any joyful feeling, and then you attach it to the desire of what you want to manifest, and it will manifest. I'm smart during the week, but not during the weekend, so please check <laughs> Cactus and everything else, and then you had pointed out to me all the different little edges to the thing. And so, so manifestation techniques are real, and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You, that's real. You can't make that up. That's magic. I pay a lot of money to that shaman chick. So this is Leody about to sign off and sign out, and it was fun hanging out and making this video. 
um, it was a success and it's really hard to sell art. I think it's hard to sell art when it's windy and it's actually really cold. I'm wearing multiple layers, but I had fun. And it's all about, it's all about keeping the energy up and transferring the joy that I make the paintings with uh, to other people. That's the, the whole idea is to keep this thing moving. The movement of art is very important. It's, a, it's lacking in the world and we need more of it. So support artists out there. Peace.